Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul. It's been a week, I know. Uh, for those who didn't see my post, I got COVID. I'm perfectly okay. I mean, it's like a bad cold. I'm congested and all of that, but I, you know, I will be fine, but I've been kind of housebound. So it's a small haul, but I did want to bring it out and share it with you. So let's get started. <clears throat> and I'm sorry for any coughing, but that is part of my COVID. All right, and I know we, this is not new, but it's the first time I saw this flavor. So in my store, we've had the um, grapefruit basil, which is delicious. By the way, if you're a gin drinker, it was really good with a little gin. But this one is lime and ginger, and I'm going to try that. So I just grabbed one box. I'm not going to try to stack up too deeply with this stuff. I don't drink it all that much, but it's nice to have around. So I did grab that. And then, oops, sorry, everything is just kind of a mess. My life is a mess, guys. I've been just, you know, dealing, dealing with the things. Okay, first I got, and I'm going to show you two of them. These are yogurt cups. Now, I saw Bodum brand put these out, not for $1.25, um, but I like this. Now, I don't think I would put this in the dishwasher or microwave, not that I'm microwaving yogurt, but it holds two cups of yogurt in the bottom, but for me, it'll be a cup of yogurt and some fresh berries. And then up here, there is a spoon, which... Oh, I don't, I guess you just turn it. Yeah, there you go. So the spoon like turns. Isn't that like everything? And then the lid, so then you turn it over and the lid comes off and it will hold some like granola or toppings. Obviously you can use this for anything you want. It doesn't have to be for yogurt, but I am totally making yogurt parfaits in these. Now this, specific one. This color is for Sarah, my niece, who she said, well, I'm better. She will come on my videos. And the navy blue one I got for me because neither one of us really need more than one. If I had kids or if I was packing my lunch for work or something, then I would totally get a couple extra. But I thought one was sufficient. And then I did find the floral water bottle stickers, which makes me very happy for my water bottles for the summer. Um, I did pick up another one of these kits. And I think it was my last Friday's video. I showed you what this looked like completed. I did it and it's adorable. But I really liked this cotton roping. So I grabbed it because I wanted the colors. And maybe I'll make another rainbow. But maybe I'll make something different. I don't know. But... I saw these at my store, so I grabbed one more. And then I did get a graduation card. This is from the Voila brand. And it says, she believed she could, so she did. And then on the inside, it says, here's to wonderful you and your big achievement. Congratulations, graduate. And I love it. And my cousin, Sydney, is graduating from high school. So I need to mail that card to her or give it to my cousin if I can go to the bank and get cash, which I can't because I'm home. I am home convalescing and quarantining. Then I picked up some of these and I just want to grab these little things because um, stocking stuffers, car ride fidget things. Like if you're planning a car trip this summer with kids, grandkids, fill a bag with a bunch of these and just dole them out. And they're new. Like they're, oh, it's raining. They're a new something, you know, and this one here, you can turn it and it's just a fidget that you can play with. And they came in all different colors, but I think these are fantastic for stocking stuffers, car trips, <coughs> excuse me, all that. So I grabbed one of those mostly to share with you. Let's have a drink of coffee, shall we? Hi, Alex. Bye, Alex. 
this dog of mine. Um, I did get some blemish pads for, you know, blemishes. Now, I do go to the dermatologist next week for my skin cancer stuff. I think my nose might need to be frozen one more time right here. Uh, who knows? I'll ask. For zits, these are great. And you get 24 pads. 24 patches and you just stick it on your zit at night those are not new these however are new they call them cake toppers but i think they're more like cupcake type toppers but honestly if you do like a fruit salad or a cheese board or anything for memorial weekend fourth of july really anything this summer you can put these toothpick oh and the little beanie weenies any of that kind of stuff <clears throat> and you get 24 of these and they had these the stars and they had flags but i prefer the stars yeah i love these and honestly i really wish dollar tree would have come out with these little picks a long time ago because i think they're pretty fantastic for any type of entertaining or meal prep because quite frankly for me i just like putting those in my lunch i'm not gonna lie okay i'm having a hard time pulling things out of here no and I'm throwing things on the floor. Sorry, guys. I'm a mess. <clears throat> I'm not trying to be a mess. I just can't help it. Okay. Uh, lit rollers because cats. Easy peasy. I'm looking for the ones, though, that have the big one and then the bonus little one. Because um, I also use these on my cross stitching. Because while I'm stitching, the cats tend to get fur. And so at the end, I, I lit roll. But I thought the little ones would be great in my stitching bag. But they only had the big ones this time, and that's perfectly okay. So I grabbed that. And then I grabbed a pack of these, which are the galvanized metal three-pack. They're really labels, but I'm thinking to try out for, like, table mate gifts at retreats um, to stick... Um, needle minders and things that have magnets because they do stick to this galvan so i just want to try it out i grabbed a three pack if what i think is going to work then i'll go back and buy some more they have different shapes this is just the rectangle but these are great too for christmas gift tags they're just super fun so i grabbed those <clears throat> um oh i don't know if i showed you on this channel but i grabbed one more of this frame I cross-stitched the little Queen of England with her corgi, and a friend of mine from high school asked if I would make one for her daughter, and I said, of course I will. So I already stitched it, I just needed a frame, and then once I am free from quarantine, I will mail this out to her. So I just needed another one of those frames, and they really work out pretty darn great. Um, oh, oh, I'm so excited. I found these signs and these i believe are 12 inch i'm not sure if it says or not i'm pretty sure i don't know where my ruler went pretty sure these are 12 inch rounds now they're pretty thin so i got four so when i make a front door sign with them i like to glue two together just to give them some stability and quite frankly the one on my porch blew around so much that maybe gluing four together would be better um, but <clears throat> these are great to make like wreaths and signs. And I mean, the, what you can do with these is immeasurable, really. And I hadn't seen these in store for a while. So I just grabbed four for my general craft supplies. Just general crafty bits, you know? Oh, look at these. They're just little hair clips. I know they're for children. I know that but guys come on and uh, i'm letting my hair grow so the brand is three birds design but for me especially like sitting here at my desk i like to put my bangs back sometimes and you just put it in there and it's done it, with my hair being longer um I like to have little clips on hand, mostly like if I'm around the house and I'm doing some housework or something. But these are little cherries and these are little strawberries <clears throat> and I love them. So I just grabbed a couple just to keep in my 
that in my bathroom for when I do my hair in the morning if I if I need to and I thought they were stinking adorable so I grabbed two packs of those that's all I really need um I do need to get a hair trim I'm not letting my hair grow like long long but I do want to I have a mullet situation going on and I have already had a mullet once in my life and I do not need it again. Um, and so I am, I'm gonna trim my back to meet the front and then let it get a little longer for anybody who cares. Sarah said no, but I said, girl, Lordy needs some better hair, okay? And she said, okay. All right, I got these for my sister-in-law, Sarah's mom. Um, she lives up on the lake in Lake in Avon Lake, Ohio, up that area. It says, life is better at the lake. Lake house, little sticker things. I just thought they were fun. And she does happen to live on the lake. So, Lake Erie. So, I grabbed some of these. And they're 3D, if you can see. So, they're not really good for planners unless you pull the front off. But I think they're adorable. And I hope she will enjoy them. And I think you will. Look at that mason jar. She also has a camper, so maybe she could decorate in the camper. But, lake life it is. Just have a few more things here, kids. Oh, I got these. These are Harry and David wafer rolls. So they're like the, um, there's a crunchy wafer with chocolate in the middle. And I know we've gotten these before. I can't remember the name of the brand Dollar Tree usually carries. But Harry and David is a very nice food brand. And actually, there is a factory here. There's a facility here. Um, I don't know if this is from our facility. But there is a distribution center here in Ohio. Or down the street from me but I grabbed two of these and one of them is for my niece Sarah to take home and one is for the giveaway I'm going to put this in with the giveaway um the good through date is March of 2023 so they're fine so one of these is for the giveaway and one is to give away to Sarah and also for the giveaway I grabbed one more Ooh one more of these fitness journals because when i showed you the last time these are a six month fitness journal and i wanted to have a whole year supply so there will be two in the giveaway and on a video coming up i'm gonna sew probably this weekend since i'm home i'm gonna sew the bag and you'll see it in the video that i'm gonna make about bag sewing because i've had a lot of questions about that so i will stitch the bag that i'm giving away and this will be part of it as well. And like I said, I'm just collecting things as I go. Uh, the giveaway won't happen until after the ride in August. So you have plenty of time. And in order to enter the giveaway, any donation to my Pelotonia ride, uh, any amount, it doesn't matter. Everybody who donates goes into a, a pool, if you will, and I'll draw a name and that person will win the bag and all the goodies that I'm putting in it. And the link is in the drop down box below. Obviously, I'm not riding my bike anytime soon because I can't breathe. Um, I grabbed these. Um, I love, I love, 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 and I'll show you what I use them for. I have them all over my house, but like right here, I have this blue one, and it just has ibuprofen in it. I keep it in my desk drawer. It's great for a sewing kit, a first aid kit. It's great to keep things in your purse because they don't get lost. And I do know right now that they have three packs out. I just grabbed a two packs. That's really all I need. I just, um, I like the white to be honest with you. But these are fantastic. Also good for lunches, for food, but they're good for all sorts of things to keep little, um, all your little goodies tidy also perfect for craft storage medication like i said if you're traveling and you need to keep anything separate quick handy be able to reach in your purse and get it it just keeps it they're just a perfect size and they also hold a deck of cards and i think a bar of soap in case you travel with those things so i grabbed those just for me to have uh, for Looney, I got her another one of these bones. She liked it. It is the Dental Treat Bone Loving Pets, made in the USA. Now, she's a little dog, so I broke it in half, and I was very easily able to just snap it. 
and then I gave her little pieces of it because she's little. But she loved it. And when I, I'm always giving the cat treats while they're, while Luna's here. So I like to have some dog stuff. And then I also got her these. She loves these little ba uh, bacon, bacon bagging strips. And these are just the tiny ones on the go. Perfect for her to put in her little, I have like a, um, in my pantry, I have a basket. Words are hard today, guys. I have a basket with the cat treats, cat food, and dog treats and stuff. And then I could just reach in and grab something for her to make her happy. Because that's how we roll. Now, the last thing I picked up was some pride stuff. Some more pride stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm excited. June is Pride Month. I know we have in Ohio the fourth largest pride parade. I'm not sure if I'll be walking or not this year. We have to kind of see what's going on with COVID and my work and how it's going to roll. But, um, you know, I am a staunch ally. Love is love. That's how I feel. And I found these and I want to share them with some of my LBGTQI friends. So it's just like a little makeup bag or whatever a little doodah bag and it just says love is love and i think it's fantastic and so i grabbed two of those to share clearly i don't need bags because i have a million of them but i grabbed these i loved them and then for the parade or for whatever i grab these necklaces that just have the rainbow on them and this is actually not part of the pride. This is part of their summer. They had cherries, they had rainbows, but I just think these are super fun. So I grabbed two of those. I have two of these and I have two fans to make like a little pride kit. So if my niece decides she's going to the parade or if I'm working the parade or walking in the parade or my boss, whoever, um, I'm gonna put together two little pride kits just to share with folks so they can have a fun day too. So that is everything that I was able to get at the Dollar Tree before I got sick and couldn't go to the Dollar Tree anymore. So I will tell you a little bit about how this all, how all this went down. So I typically shop. So if you're not interested, I'm done with the Dollar Tree portion. This is just a little story time of how Lori is faring with COVID. Um, I work, so I typically shop a week ahead for my Dollar Tree hauls because I, I just get nervous that I won't have the supplies that I need or enough stuff to show you. So I had stuff already and then my plan was last weekend or last Monday to go shopping, this Monday, the 23rd, to go shopping and have stuff to finish off a video for Wednesday and then I would have stuff ahead for the next video and I had already planned on having the day off I had to run some errands with my brother and so it was fine I worked Friday night at the John Mulaney show at the shot and scene center where I work part-time and so I worked had Saturday did all a bunch of stuff on Saturday on Sunday I was cleaning my house and a friend of mine stopped by and we were visiting and she left at about five o'clock. I think it was around five. And I was just hanging out. And then at seven, all of a sudden my throat just started hurting. Like out of nowhere, sore throat, like bad. It's like, well, that's weird. So I went to bed and I woke up and I was all stuffed up and not feeling good at all. And I knew I was gonna be with my brother. And if you could see, my eyes are still swollen. And my brother has health Com you know, has compromised health. So I was like, well, I'm definitely taking a test before I go pick him up. So I was about, to, and I slept till 10 o'clock, which is not like me. I'm normally up and out. I'm on the weekends, days off at eight o'clock latest. So when I got out of bed at 10 o'clock, I was like, ooh, something isn't right. Anyway, so I took a COVID test and I got a positive in like 30 seconds. So I said, well, that's weird. So then I opened another box, a different box, and took another test, same thing, instantly got a positive. So I'm like, and I have COVID. So I called my doctor, let them know, called my brother, let him know. I talked, called all the people, put it even on my Facebook, let people know that I was in contact with, that I had tested positive. And I stayed home and I slept all day Monday, Tuesday. 
Um, the only weird, I haven't lost my taste, but certain things taste different, if you will. So I haven't lost my taste, but things are definitely off. Like acidic things. Coffee tastes a little funny. I had a pickle. That was definitely not good. So an appetite is zero. I'm just not hungry. So I'm eating and drinking because I need to. Well, um, the only other weird symptom that I have is I'm super hot but I don't know if it's from the medication so I've been taking like Dayquil and I just took Mucinex and I'm starting to get hot again so I'm thinking it's from the decongestant medicine and not COVID but I don't know I was up here the other night uh, putting some things away and just started sweating and I don't have I mean I did have a fever but I don't right now all I have is congestion and I'm not even feeling terrible, but I took some Mucinex because I am I need to cough this up. And my doctor did call in the antiviral Plaxovid or something um, for me to take. So there's that. So I'm fine. I mean, I'm just, you know, it's like a bad cold. Now, I do have three vaccines on board. I am needing to get my next, the fourth booster or the second booster. So I've had my two shots and one booster. And I am eligible because of my diabetes for another booster. Hi, Wellington. So I can't do that now, I think, for 90 days or something. I don't know. I'll go on the CDC website and find out when I can get my booster. So, yeah, I went two years without catching it. Would you want to come up here, baby? Come on. Come here. Come on. Oh, wrong cat. That was Alex. Come here, friend. Ugh. Mr. Wellington would like to come up and say hello. Say hi, buddy. Can you say hi to our friends? He said, no, but I'll go right over there. <laughs> they want to go get in their window bed. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. These cats are driving me nuts. They're also both shedding like maniacs right now. All right, so that is everything I just wanted to share with you. Oh, hi. Hi. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay. I wanted to share with you what I was able to find at the Dollar Tree, give you a little health update. Like I said, I should be back to regularly scheduled filming next week. I might be a little slow on the uptake just because I'm still, you know, recovering and all that, but I'm feeling good. And I'm hoping to have a DIY bag video up for you soon. Now they're knocking things all over the place. Can you please go? Thank you. All right, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later. Bye.